So today I'd like to talk to you about a very common knee injury, especially in athletes and uh, weakened warriors, called an ACL tear. ACL is a very important ligament within the knee. ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. The ACL is kind of in the middle of the knee and deep inside the knee. As I bend this down, you can see a few structures. You have the tibia here, which is the leg bone. You have the femur here, which is the thigh bone. You have a couple ligaments on the outside called the LCL. You have one on the inside called the MCL. And then right here, right in the middle is the ACL. And it connects the front of the tibia bone to the back and side of the femur bone. The ACL serves two primary functions. One is to prevent the tibia bone from moving too far forward. And then there's also a rotational component um, that is also very important that the ACL serves. The function of the ACL is primarily a stabilizer for the knee. So when you tear your ACL, your, your knee becomes unstable in those two planes. The most common way to tear your ACL is actually not a contact injury. You know, this is something that you commonly see in football, so a lot of people associate it with a contact injury, and sometimes it is. More often than not, we see it with non-contact injuries, such as basketball, soccer, pickleball, things like that. The typical story or history is that you were, let's say basketball for instance. I have a lot of patients that go up to shoot the ball and when they come down, they land awkwardly on their knee. It twists their knee, their knee buckles and they collapse to the floor. They usually hear a, a loud popping sensation. They're unable to continue playing and kind of the hallmark for an ACL in addition to those certain things is that the knee becomes very, very swollen very, very quickly. It stays swollen for quite a while, so by the time you come see me in the office, usually a week or so later, it's still pretty swollen, and that's, that's something that usually clues me in and makes me concerned about an ACL tear. Usually an ACL tear occurs in younger active individuals. Could be as young as 13 years old, could be as old as their 60s, but I'd say most of the time it's typically in the 20s to 30s. When you come see me in the office, we'll get an x-ray of the knee, make sure there's no fractures or other abnormalities in the knee. And if, there, if I have concern about an ACL tear or a meniscus tear or some other injury to the knee, then I'll order an MRI. And the MRI is the, is the diagnostic test that will show the ACL tear. So when it comes to an ACL tear, it's a bit of a discussion between you and me as to what we do about it, surgically or non-surgically. You can treat an ACL without surgery for young and active individuals, patients 18, 20, 25. I typically will recommend surgery for those individuals. They tend to be more active, more involved in sports, and tend to have a harder time without a, without a functional ACL. ACL in their knee. When we're talking about surgery versus non-surgery for an ACL tear, there's a lot of things to take into consideration. Um, age, activity level, your expectations, any other injuries that might be associated with the ACL. It's not uncommon to see a meniscus tear in addition to the ACL tear. Sometimes you tear the other ligaments as well. So all of these things go into it when, when deciding whether or not you need surgery. The non-surgical route usually involves a lot of physical therapy, brace use for the knee, which sometimes is temporary, sometimes is permanent. You might need the brace for varying activities that you want to do. Typically, as far as long-term expectations for an ACL tear. You're able to do most things that you need and want to do. You can jog, you can run as long as it's in a straight line. Usually when it comes to cutting, pivoting, and shifting, you, you start to have instability of the knee. The knee will buckle and give out on you. You'll have a hard time during doing those certain activities. When it comes to surgical treatment of the ACL, there's multiple different options. Broadly, there's repair, or reconstruction. I don't typically perform a repair as the long-term data have, has not shown a lot of success with the repair. Some surgeons will do a repair. I prefer not to. That leaves the reconstruction, which is what I do. An ACL reconstruction is basically taking out the torn meniscus and replacing it with an entire new one. Sometimes you use tissue from your own body to reconstruct the ACL. Sometimes we use tissue from a cadaver to reconstruct the ACL. So this is a, a, certainly a conversation that we would have. Looking at the surgery, the surgery is an arthroscopic surgery. It's also an outpatient surgery. So you go in, you have the surgery, and you go home the same day. When you're performing surgery, the initial evaluation of the knee is, is a diagnostic arthroscopy. So two small incisions are made around the knee. You put the camera in, you take a look around, you see what needs to be done. If there's an associated meniscus tear, then you, you repair that. If there's other ligaments that are torn, you repair those as well. Specifically, once you get to the ACL, um, what you do is 
you make a small incision down here just below the knee on the inside part. You make a tunnel through the bone coming out to here. And then you make another tunnel through this bone coming out on the other side. And then you take whatever graft you chose to use and you run it through those tunnels and secure it in place. I use screws to secure it in place. After the surgery, sometimes you are only allowed to put partial weight on your leg and that's if we did, let's say, a meniscus repair or something like that. If all we did was an ACL repair, you can put full weight on your leg. You will be in a brace typically for six to 12 weeks, depending on how long it takes to rebuild the muscles with physical therapy. I usually like to start patients a couple days after surgery and physical therapy to start really building those muscles back up. It takes typically about three to four weeks before you're walking a little bit more normally again. It takes three months before you're able to start running and jogging and things like that, as long as it's, like I said, as long as it's in a straight line. And then it takes anywhere between nine to 12 months to return to your previous sport that involves cutting, pivoting, and twisting like football, basketball, things like that. So if you have injured your knee, if you're concerned about, uh, about your knee at all, um, just give the office a call, 954-473-6344, and make an appointment with me and, and I'll take a look at it.